Okay, this is the second workout for the week. So you're going to need your dumbbells, you'll need a flat band and your handle bands, and also um, the slides. Although I think you might use your socks when you do slide things, but that would be fine. But if you had slides, you can use that too. So the first thing we're doing is a one and a quarter squat. You do four sets, 10 reps. You want a heavy dumbbell, like 25, 30 pounds. Okay, you're going to hold it up like this. Keep it out of your way. This is kind of hard to hold with the block. So you squat. Remember, as you squat, you're pushing your knees out. You're pushing your butt back. And that was a regular squat. So you do one and a quarter. So that means we're going down, up a little bit of the way, quarter of the way, back down, and up. That's one. Two. You do ten of these. Okay? So you do that ten times. Then you're going to alternate that with a seated band row. Now we did the band rows before you're going to wrap your, your uh, handle band around something. I'll wrap mine around this, but you can wrap it in a treadmill, whatever, whatever it is that you have there at home. This time I want you to just one arm at a time. You got to be sure when you're doing these band rolls that you're far enough back that you get resistance on this band. You know, you, see, you can see the resistance is on at all times and that's what you want. Just stand up tall, shoulders down, you don't want to shrug up. Chest pushed out. And you're rolling this back and squeeze your shoulder blade. Hold it for like two, three seconds. Release. I want you to do 12 to 15 on this side. And then switch hands. And you can like align your body up a little bit so that you're not pulling across. So remember, shoulders stay down. None of the shrugging stuff. Stay down. Chest is pushed out. And just squeeze, full and hold. Okay, so you're gonna alternate your squat, your one and quarter squat with your band row. Four sets of each, alternate back and forth. When you're done with that, we're gonna come over and we're gonna do a slide. You can land your back with your heels on your slide, or if you just use a slippery floor, that's fine, or be doing Bridge up, squeeze your butt, squeeze your hamstrings, and slide up. Okay? The 12 is everything tight. Okay. After that, we're going to go over and do our. Hmm, what are we doing? I forgot. Oh, our pull press with our band. something you gotta hook your band up high on something okay I, I think you can do it on your door and that's fine this is enough you can keep the band pulled tight you're pulling it you see how and you keep your shoulders down again remember no shrugging pull actually you have to do it like this you have to hold these handles like high up so that your palms are facing each other don't hold it in the handle, just hold on your strap. Pull it back, press it up, back down, and release. Hold, press, hold, release. You might have to step in a little bit, depends on um, if the band's pulling you or not allowing you to press up. Move in a step. But keep on this pull, see how far my elbows are back? Keep them pull back. You want to squeeze your shoulder blades together. And the whole time through the, throughout this, you want your elbows high. You don't want to be dropping them down. On this, you want to be pulling your you know, shoulder level, but your palms are facing this. So you're pulling, pressing, back to start, and release. Okay? So you do four sets of that, 12 to 15. You can gauge that. You can alternate between those two. And we're going to throw in a band wash. So for this, you're going to use a flat band. Step in the band, your feet are wide. You're going to crisscross this up high. Keep this here at your side. You want to keep it high. And you're just walking. Nice level walk. Keep your hips straight. None of this hiking business, okay? Try to do, I don't know the room that you have, but if you can get like 12 steps on the side, that way, and then come back 12 steps. 
Okay, you're gonna feel this really in your butt, and your IT bands all the way down. Okay? So you will alternate, you'll do your bridge slide, your pole press, your band walk. You're only gonna do three of the band walks, so add this one in in your second round of things, okay? Um, let's see what else I want. That's it for those, and the last thing you do are mountain climbers, which we haven't done before, so. Again, you're gonna use your slides for this. If you have a stopwatch or something with a second hand, you want to use that, okay? And so, what, and you want to time yourself. We'll go for 20 seconds right now, which was probably a lot. I don't think you're gonna be able to get to 20 seconds on this, but just to gauge and give yourself something to shoot for, okay? And you're gonna do three sets of this. So let's say we're trying for 20 seconds, and you just do it until you just can't do it. Knees on your slides, or whatever on your slippery thing. Push up position. Can you do that? 20 seconds. It looks like it's nothing, but it's really a workout. So you want to do that? It's for your abs, it's for your legs. You're going to feel that. Really, your legs are going to be the thing that really feels it, but it is a total body workout. Yeah. That's at the end of your routine, okay? So, um, I think that's it. See you next time.